Jesus Christ. Good morning, church. Good morning, Father. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Having seven wives. That's that's not heaven for me. <laughs> I have one mother and she's enough. <laughs> you know, church. I, I, let me talk about the belief in the resurrection and the power of the resurrection. For those are two different things, by the way. You can believe in the resurrection but not give it that power that it deserves. You know, did you notice, church, that the belief in the resurrection has really changed our uh, humanity in the last 2,000 years? Let me give that argument by negative. Via negativa. Have you seen uh, an atheist hospital before? An atheist orphanage before? Or an atheist association going to people that have been devastated by AIDS, earthquake, financial crisis? No. Huh? Because if you are going to live only for this life, this is a materialist philosophy. If today, uh, today we live, uh, no, no, eat, drink, for tomorrow we will die. <laughs> then, then why be merciful? Why be more forgiving? Why reconcile people? Why be patient to one another, especially to the people who live with you in the house? <laughs> Huh? But because of the belief in the resurrection, Christians have founded and built hospitals. Christians have founded and built, I'm talking about the Catholic Church here, by the way, <laughs> have founded huh, and maintained universities. Christians are always the first ones to be in the emergencies all around the world, even in this very country of ours, because of the belief in the resurrection that there is life after death, that this is not all that there is. If this is the life that there is, then why am I a priest? <laughs> if tomorrow I will just die, I will have seven wives too. <laughs> but no. But no. But there is much more to the resurrection than the belief in the resurrection. The resurrection has such power that it can change your life today. Tozer, one of the great postmodern theologians that we have, coined these words. The power of the resurrection means that nothing but the empty tomb is meant to be empty. Remember when Jesus said that I have come that they might have life and have it all in abundance. Abundance. The Italians will call it abundanzia. Huh? But abundanzia is not only the abundance of food, the Thanksgiving table. Abundance is also going around the table and forgiving one another on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> because, you know, as relationships, we need a lot of forgiveness. Abundancia also means that I am willing to sacrifice myself to you. Because not only are you my kin, but my brother and sister in Christ. Abundancia means that I'm going to work so hard in this life so that the people around me whose faces are also the face of Christ might also feel comfort and peace, not only in the next life, but in this life. Church, that does not happen if the power of the resurrection has not changed your heart yet. <laughs> it takes a lot to forgive. You know this. It takes a lot to sacrifice. You know this. It takes a lot to give joy to somebody, even if that joy is only a smile when you don't want to. The empty tomb 
is the only one that needs to be empty, but not your heart. 